What point you can't put Jerusalem on the table and create a huge mess when the status of Jerusalem has been known for the past 50 years? There's right of nations and there's whatever's written on paper, but the right of nations is pretty simple. If your boots are there, if your guns are there, if your tanks are there, you hold it. And Israel wasn't going to be giving up the Kotel under any, way, any circumstances whatsoever. Israel wasn't going to be giving up Jerusalem under any circumstances whatsoever, regardless of where negotiations went. This is really a statement in paper that says what everybody and every regional analyst has known for 50 years now. This territory is Israel's, and Trump's statement has done nothing but say, okay, now it's on paper. What has legitimately changed? The status of things that are still up in the air, Trump came out and clarified. The boundaries of what Jerusalem are are still open to negotiations. So if the this status is the case, of Jerusalem why, is still undivided. Why, even, why no even difference talk about it? And by the way, there is a huge flaw to what you just said. By, by declaring or announcing that Jerusalem uh, is the capital of Israel by the biggest and most important country in the world, then it opens the door, maybe just a little bit, for other countries, no matter how small they are, to go ahead and move their embassies and declare that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel, making it almost impossible for Israel to negotiate with the Palestinians and the Arabs on the future of uh, Jerusalem. But Everyone knows. That way. Again, it's, Israeli boots, Israeli guns, Israeli tanks hold the territory. That's not there changing. can be guns and boots and whatever you are talking about for as long as there is a United Nations and international community consensus on this, on East Jerusalem, then it was kept for negotiations. And that's why it was ill-advised for President Trump and the U.S. administration to change the status quo. This should have been left either to the two parties, to, rather than the U.S. administration try to push them to bring them to the table for a historic deal. Now there is no historic deal and now there is zero deal at least for the no, time being.